So today I'll be testing out the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. So I purchased this in two different shades. I bought Plum in the Snow, which is this really pretty cranberry purple color that I'm wearing on my lips right now. And then I purchased the shade Midnight, which is this really unusual purple grape color. It's almost like a blackberry color. I'll be honest, I was not going to buy these. I've talked about this before. I have a huge stash of matte liquid lipsticks already. I'm over the trend. I want some hydration, I want some moisture, I want some lip glosses. Especially during the winter time, matte liquid lipsticks are drying and they're just, they're not the most comfortable thing to wear. But I can't help but be drawn to them, especially if the color is dark and rich like these colors are. I don't have to worry about them traveling outside of my lip line or smudging up my face. So I decided that I would only buy colors that were just a little outside my comfort zone because the last thing I need is another nudie pink lipstick. So let's take a look at some of the claims that Rimmel makes about this lip color on their website. It's available in 14 different shades and it retails for $5. This is a liquid lipstick with a high intensity color and a velvety matte finish. It has a bold matte color in one stroke and it is kiss proof, touch proof, waterproof, and that's all it really says. So as far as the kiss proof, I would agree with that. Um, I've been wearing this for two hours and yeah, it's not transferring. I found this pretty easy to apply. The applicator is, um, it's a very thin doe foot applicator, if you can see that. So it just, it made it a little bit easier to line like the outer corners of your lips. It's not tacky at all, although it does take about two minutes to dry down. I found that I had to build up the color a little bit. I found that at first swipe that they were a little patchy, but once I added a second coat, it evened out completely. And so far it's looking pretty good. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere. So the time right now is 10.21. I'm gonna go on about my day and then I will check in with you guys later after I've had some lunch and let you know how this is holding up. All right, so the time check is 425. So since our last check-in, I had some lunch. I had mashed potatoes and hummus, which I know is a very, very strange combination. I have a weird palate these days. I, I, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. But so far it's still holding strong. Yep, it's still, it's still not budging. Just something to be aware of, um, and I'm not sure if it shows in this light. This is this hand that I did the swatch on, and you can still see a little bit of residue there from where, uh, from where I did the swatches. So the darker shades do stain like crazy. You'll need a really good uh, waterproof makeup remover in order to get this stuff off. So. It's not going anywhere. So that's the good news. If you want to wear a darker color and you don't want to have to worry about it transferring or riding up your face, this seems like a good option. My only beef with it, and this probably has more to do with it being winter because I'm normally during winter a lip balm addict and I'm finding it's just, it's really, my lips are just really dry. It's nice for change, but I'm not going to get into the habit of wearing liquid lipsticks during the winter time just because of the drying aspects. But as far as the longevity and the color and the transfer proofness, so far I'm really liking this one. So that is it so far. I will check in with you guys in five hours and let you know how this has been holding up. So the time check is 8.06. So when I last checked this, it was looking pretty good. But um, I don't know, it's kind of gone to hell in a handbasket now. It's not, it's all like broken up in the inner corners of my lips. It's kind of looking a little gross now is the only way to describe it. It's still transfer proof, like it's not moving anywhere. It's just like where the corners of my lips are, right here, here. They're pretty much, it's pretty much all gone. So for long-term wear, I probably wouldn't recommend this one. Like if you were in a situation where you were getting your makeup ready in the morning and you needed your lipstick to last all day and you didn't have time to touch it up at all, this is probably not the one to go to. 
but if you were only going out in the evening and wearing this, it would be fine. At the five hour point, it still looked pretty good and I had gone through a really oily, greasy meal and it still hadn't broken up at that point. So the only thing about this product that's driving me a little nuts is the dryness. Yeah, my lips are really super dry in the center and they're all flaky and nasty, but that probably has more to do with the fact that it's winter and I haven't been slathering on lip balm all day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing if you'd like to be notified when I post new content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!